Hey folks, so you're about to watch a gold recovery or refining video. So this little section here is a common sense warning. So keep in mind that in all of these videos you're working with acids, which are dangerous. There is fumes, uh, so they're dangerous to your respiratory system, to your eyes, to your skin, um, any mucous membrane, so you know, go from there. With that being said, in this video, and in a lot of my videos, you'll notice that I'm not wearing a lot of the required protective gear. Um, the reason for that is because it's very difficult to mess with a camera, talk, and do all these things that I need to do to make the video, um, and wear all the stuff at the same time. So please understand that when I am not filming, I am in fact wearing all of this equipment. Okay, I, I do have you know the latex gloves. I have plastic apron, I've got um, a, a respirator, um, and a face shield. So these are all things that are in my shop, they've been there for a while, and they do get used, so um, please keep that in mind. If, in the you know, off chance, you want to try any of this stuff on your own, then please make sure that you use these items. So thanks, enjoy the video, and see you on the next one. Hey Scrapper, Smooks here. Uh, so this is going to be one of one, two, four videos. Uh, the last few videos I'm going to be doing um, pretty much on gold recovery. Um, I know it's one of your guys' favorite things on my channel. Um, all right. So the next thing that we're going to do is this batch of all these mixed things. Now again, you want to make sure that they're all really clean. Um, make sure that there's nothing left on them. It's, there are some people out there who will throw the whole board in there and sort it out later. It's just, in my opinion, um, it's just a lot easier to make things clean. That way there's less variables to screw things up. Plain and simple. Um, so again, um, some of the things that you want to watch out for are, like on this, see those white things? Those are stickers. Those will come off and plug your filters, especially at the end. So if you just take a razor blade, can get them right off. Yeah, it takes a, a minute now to do that, but in the final stages, when you're getting really anxious to you know, melt down your nugget, <clears throat> you're going to get really frustrated really quickly with how much time you're spending messing around with those little stickers in the, in the solution. All right, so... This thing, we're going to do the same. I'm going to pour in some HCL. Just enough to cover. And then add in the peroxide. So <clears throat> once you uh, once you start seeing a little green in the water, that's the copper dissolving. Um, you know the reaction is starting, and you really don't need to add anything else. So I'm going to cap this one and put it outside. All right, so that's it for those. I'll come back in a couple of days and uh, show you where we are. Now, <clears throat> keep in mind that you know, the way that I do it, it's going to take you know it could take up to a week for all the foils to come off, which I'm fine with. Um, there are faster methods, but yeah, that's if you want to find something faster, YouTube is a big place. So thanks for watching, and we'll come back when those foils are coming off. All right, so here's the uh, next step in the uh, recovery process of the um, <clears throat> random boards that I had. Um, so right now, it's been in here a couple weeks. It's not all the gold is off. Some of the things are. I'm still stuck on there, so I'm just going to filter off what gold that I have now and let it sit in there for a while longer. <clears throat> All right, so we'll start off. Now, the process once everything is, is removed is going to be the same. So, you just want to like drain all of the AP out. I'm going to drain it out into the strainer first. Um, I don't want to get 
too much material in there as far as like circuit boards and stuff. Um, that I'm going to bring inside and rinse out in the sink. So I don't know if you can see in there, there's just a little bit floating. You, you're going to get a lot less material off of this stuff than you do. Uh, I think I had an equal weight of uh, trimmed fingers. But it's still gold. So we are going to process it anyway. Alright, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this bucket in the house. And I'm going to rinse it in the kitchen sink into a five gallon bucket that I have. And um, try to rinse off as, as much of the gold as I can. And this I'm going to start filtering. All right, so the filtering is going by a lot faster um, than I anticipated, you know, probably because there's a lot less gold in the um, assorted plated boards that I had then in gold fingers. So um, the results are going to be tiny, <laughs> but that's all right. Let's start seeing at the bottom of the container here whereas with the with the gold fingers there was like a, a cloud. This is far far less spectacular. Alright now I will also say that I noted um, so this is all that I got from rinsing them off in the sink. So I, as you can tell, clearly it's nowhere near as much as with the, the trim fingers. Um, but something that I did notice with the boards is that a lot of them still have a lot of gold plating on them. So um, one type of board in particular, which seems to be a real pain in the keister, um, are these those long thin boards that um, are in LCD monitors or TVs that they go along the side of the screen. Uh, for some reason the gold is not coming off of those very easily, so those are going to go back in AP for a while. So I'm just going to dump those back in the bucket, and uh, yeah, they're probably going to sit there for a while. <clears throat> I don't think I'll be getting back to them until spring. Um, but so just for, for your your reference, um, even if the, the gold doesn't come off, don't give up on it. Throw it back in the, the AP. Um, it'll come off eventually. So that's that. I'm going to finish this filtering off and then we'll take a look and see what we got from um, gold recovery from the assorted boards. Alright, so this is the wrap up part of the um, recovery video, not the refining video, just the recovery part of the uh, miscellaneous boards. Um, had roughly the same weight of those as I did the trimmed fingers. And I mean, as you can see, in the filter there's hardly anything um, and I just have this left to run through the filter uh, it's mostly solder mask <laughs> now granted there were still a lot of pieces of um, gold stuck to those boards um, but you know I mean it's taken a long time for them to, to come off especially you know the long skinny pieces that uh, you find on the edges of the um, flat screen monitors um, so the gold is there, it's just taking a long time, of course it would probably go faster if my air bubbler was working. Uh, so I've been using just straight AP, n no intervention, you know, r random stirring once in a while. Um, so that's it. Alright, so for a video like that there's not going to be any measurements, um, because you know, the randomness of the content, it, it would just be ridiculous for me to, you know, refine it all and say, oh yeah, I got, you know, 0.4 grams of gold from whatever random boards it wouldn't be useful information to anyone um so i think that's it so thanks for watching um if you have any questions you know put them down in the, in the you know, comment section i try and get back to people i've been getting fairly swamped it's been taking me a while to to get back on things got all kinds of other crap going on um <clears throat> and um yeah so if you know you're interested in you know getting gold <clears throat> if you're doing this as a hobby great you know I'd, I'd really suggest sticking to ap with like trim fingers and stuff like that um send the rest out to a refiner um you know unless you really want to get into it unless you have a lot of volume that you deal with then of course you know take the time to really study it uh learn what you're doing before you do it and be safe um but if refining is something that you don't want to do if you want to you know send the 
your material off. There's all kinds of companies out there that will send you cash for it. Um, be safe. Thanks for watching. See you all later.